How are you doing? My name is William. Today's video is called What Does the Bible Say About Nightmares? Yes, nightmares. Now, I know the word nightmare is not found in the Bible, but I do believe the Bible does talk about nightmares, okay? Yes. Now, well, nightmares. Well, nightmares is what you call bad dreams, okay? And, um, it's what you call a, yeah, a nightmare is what you call a bad dream. Um, now how does the Bible, now I don't know where in the, I think in the Bible, where it talks about nightmares, but I'm looking at the verses right now. Here's Proverbs 3, verse 24, it says, He lieth down, and should not be afraid yet, that shall lie down, and thy sheep shall be sweet. I don't think that's a verse about nightmare, but that's, and so I think that that's a verse of a good dream, but that's keeping it. It says, though you pull thee down peace, sleep of our Lord, and make us sleep all in safely. Okay, I don't think that's a verse of a nightmare either, that's keeping reading. They should not be afraid for terror by night, where the arrow flieth by day. Hmm. Wait, and then here's 27. God not give us the spirit of fear, but the power and love of the sound mind. Well, that is true. Then you should only fear God and not the devil. So. But we're talking about nightmares here. So, let's keep reading. So, submit yourselves before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Okay. What does that have to do with nightmares again? Is it to dwell within the sacred place the most should be right under the shadow, Almighty? Okay. It says, If you are the Lord, tend to lie, and he has seen it, and satisfying, it shall be visited with evil. Okay. Thou goest to show thee time, and thou sleepest, and keep your sleep, but if thou awakest, and shall talk with thee. Okay. And when is again, behold, my sleep was sweet unto me. Okay. This is about a good dream, though, not a nightmare. It says, If any of it's already set up late, I remember as soon as he gave it, but love and sleep. It says, Now keep it, O Lord, and it's straight upon thy hand. And as a gentleman, that thou canst believe, are possible in them that, that, that believeth. Okay. And you know, for day, beloved, give yourselves forgiveness, flesh and spirit, honey is the fear of God. The thief coming by, but not to steal, but kill, destroy. Okay. And the kind of name I have, life and I have abundantly. Well, that could be like a nightmare. And it says, "By now, you give the Lord of peace, not of evil." You may expect it. He dwells in the secret place, I shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. <sighs> the point is that I only don't know if there are any very good verses about nightmares, but. But yeah, I do believe the Bible does talk about nightmares, though. So let me see. Well, we can read it from from ComparingTruth.org. So yeah, does the does does the Bible say anything about nightmares? Well, now I know that Halloween, you know, you know, and haunt and well, going to haunted house does give people nightmares, okay? And watching a scary movie does give people nightmares too, okay? That's why that's why people should not. That's why Christians shouldn't watch a scary movie because it can give because it can give you nightmares. That's why. And don't go to a haunted house either because that can give you nightmares too. Okay. Yeah, I believe do so. I believe celebrating Halloween does give you nightmares. Okay. Now, what do you do if you had a nightmare? Well, let's find out what the what the Bible says. But I tried looking at some verses about nightmares, but. I don't know. It says, Jesus are find us, the find us are called nightmares. Jesus are absolutely normal. When you fall asleep, dreaming is not being in your minds, but you make extra information that the ground passes during the day. Minds trouble for some reason. It can produce, it can produce a nightmare. It causes a physical, such as illness or having eaten some kind of odd to close to bedtime, to so be emotional. Just that any felt under the waking life is way expressing itself during our dreams. Sometimes nightmares can produce very strong physical response. 
may wake up breathing heavily or sweating like a racing heartbeat. Wow. Okay. The Bible mentioned dreams and it's clear that God cannot speak to people through dreams. Well, that is true, he can't. But can it is true that God can and does speak to people through dreams. Well that is true, but he does that well it is true that he did that, but he doesn't do that today. Does that mean all dreams of spiritual sacrifice happens in which God and speaks to us? The many angels of God speaking through dreams. Jacob had a dream sending to sending a ladder. That's in Genesis 28. And Joseph had dreams becoming a ruler over his brothers. Joseph had dreams of a Virgo. Okay, Virgo's chief. Okay, a baker. One of by Pharaoh. Okay, that's in Genesis 40, 41. Okay. Many biblical characters have spiritual dreams, including Abelic, okay, it's gender daughter 20, okay, a man, Geonian, whose dream what God had told Geonian, okay, that's in Judah, chapter 7, Solomon, that's in Genesis, chapter 3, Nebuchadnezzar, Daniel, chapter 2, Joseph, the, or, okay, Jesus, okay, there's two, a pilot's wife, okay, that's in chapter, that's in chapter 27, okay, yeah. God compares the grins of wicked phantoms and dreams where God as soon as is is as one awakes. Hmm. And since Psalm chapter verse twenty, okay. So Pilot's wife, okay, phantoms. Okay, that's a so you can see the Bible does talk about nightmares. Okay, it does. Okay, but now I don't. I know, I know. I don't agree on everything that says in this article, but I can see that this article is saying that the Bible does talk about nightmares. Because nightmares are so scary, and I'm tempted to believe that Satan or demons are responsible for them. They're, they're, that they are tormenting us in nightmares. This is most likely just fears, our fears of talking. But the Bible does not occur any instance of demonic activity in nightmares. But it is not to say that God is, un, is unwilling towards suffer with nightmares or night terrors like any illness, mental or physical. Nightmares are a result of a fallen world. Okay, if you Regularly suffer from nightmares. Meeting with a doctor or a counselor may be a good idea. And you're dealing with any nightmare, remember that God has promised that He cares for us, that we may have to bring exaltings to Him. That's first chapter five verse seven. Jesus became a man that He could surprise our weakness as a gene and as death. Turning God for peace after a nightmare before going to sleep. So he responds that this is this is very real fear. He is a good father, and you promised to give us Holy Spirit's place when he asked for it. It's Galatians 5, verse 22. And Luke 10, 11, verse 13. Okay. So. Yeah, I don't believe everything that's in, our, in this article, but I'm trying to find out what the Bible says about nightmares. Because. Because. Have you didn't get a nightmare before? You know. I'm trying to do my best to talk about this, okay? Because yes, the answer is true that the answer why we get night is is why people get nightmares because we live in a fallen world. That's why. Okay, I know our dreams are not always peaceful, okay? And you know, and the Bible says to fear God, okay? So yeah, I would say yeah. If you have a, I would say if you have a, if you have a nightmare, all you have to do is just try to overcome it, I guess. Because if I was just to fear God, okay.
Okay. The Bible says to fear God. Okay. So, and I already talked about Halloween, right? And witchcraft, I think, like in the last video. Yeah, well, I know that necromancy means they communicate with the dead. But I don't think that has to do anything with nightmares. But, but the problem is, is that nightmares is something you need to overcome. Okay? Is it true that people should worry about nightmares? Well, the problem is that there's also some people that don't even remember their dreams anyway. Now, I don't even, now I only really don't remember what I've dreamed about anyway. Well, I just go to sleep and wake up. I don't even remember what my dreams are about anyway. Why? Because I don't really don't care about my dreams. I care about, I care about, I care about the Bible. Okay? Now, I know it's good to have dreams, but having bad ones like nightmares, well, I think that's something you have to overcome. I don't know that for sure, but I think it's best to fear God, okay? Because I believe what the Bible says is that nightmares is just a reason why we live in a fall. It's just a reason. It's just a reason that we live in a fallen world. That's all, because of sin. Okay. So, if you had a nightmare, you can tell me in the comments below. Okay, about and about that. Okay. And try to overcome your nightmares because, and try to turn your nightmare to a good dream. I think is probably my best answer. But now I don't need all know if there's, and I don't know they don't know if people can control their dreams because I don't know. But it's probably the way that I think about that. So it doesn't really matter anyway. If you want, if you tell me. Look, you can tell me in your comments below about about about, about if, you, if you if you if you if you had a nightmare before and how you go overcome it, okay? In your comments below anyway, because you know, because I do believe the Bible anyway, and then okay, and you know, it's not easy so I don't know very much about this so I can't say but you can tell me in comments below about 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 you overcoming your nightmares okay if you want to okay because you know I'm a nice person you know I like you know Nightmares can happen, and and I can see I can see that the Bible and I can see the Bible does talk about nightmares, even though the word nightmare is not found in the Bible. So, so the Bible does talk about them, okay? And you can tell about your nightmare. You can tell me about you, about you having you can talk and you, and you have a nightmare, and how you overcome it. You can tell me in the comments below, okay? Just you can tell me about it, okay? Because you know, you know I'm here, okay. Okay, and now I want to show you how to get saved, okay? Okay, it says when you're the pointing false religious that damn souls to hell, and you go to heaven before our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is by faith alone, grace of Jesus Christ alone, and once you are saved by easy belief in the truth. Okay, okay. we so you can't just lose our salvation. So you can't, you can't, but easy belief in that salvation is easy to just believe on Jesus Christ for salvation. Okay. Okay. Now,
Um, okay, I tried to find a way we do a next video, but... Nope, I wasn't looking for that, sorry. I was looking for it's this, okay. No, wrong one. Okay, okay, no, no, this video is called, it's called, what does the Bible say about watching scary movies? Okay, I'll talk about that next video. Okay? Okay. And plus, watching scary movies does keep people, does give you, does, can give you nightmares. And I'll talk about that too, um, next video, okay? But, look, if you have a, if you have a nightmare for watching a scary movie, I would say, yeah, to stop watching scary movies. Okay? To stop watching them, and you probably won't have any more nightmares about, 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 about those things. Okay? And if you have a nightmare about going to a haunted house, well, I would say, yeah, stop going to haunted houses, probably, and you probably won't get any more nightmares about that. Yeah. Okay, that's the best thing you can do, anyway. But, anyway, I have to go right now, but... If yeah, there's... A, if, that's the, if that's the best way to go overcome your nightmares, but anyway... And try to get a good night sleep and have a good... And have, and have good dreams. Anyway, you know... Anyway, I gotta go right now, so thank you for watching this video, just bye.